No niin, terve päiväksi. Se on se on kaikki estikellä. So, maybe I change to English. Thanks for invitation. Uh, I come from Finland. I'm Teuvo Hatva and our area is northern part of Finland uh, called Kainu Koilisma Lake District. So it's in like in lake area. Uh, in Finland we have seven flags and this Oland which is supposed to be eight uh, is coming quite soon I hope. But it, because uh, Holland is independent uh, in the uh, area between Sweden and Finland, I don't know when they are past uh, their strategies. Uh, our role in Finland EFF is quite minor. We have only 9.2 percent of total EFF fund funds in in our flags, so we are using it, it, this funding as a seed money. So uh, we are not funding so much project itself, but trying to search new ways to handle things and, and uh, trying to get some development on the area. We don't have beers or dinners in our meetings <laughs> comparing to Danish. But uh, we got a little bit smaller board as well, only nine mem members, with uh, three are entrepreneurs and three from municipalities and three from leader or non-governmental organizations. Uh, our strategy has two main lines: market launch of the products and promoting and renewing the industry. <coughs> As you can see our area, which is uh, uh, quite big from this posi of north to Kuhmo to south, and it's approximately uh, 300 kilometers from south to north. Uh, we have a lot of waterways, but not so many people, so our average uh, is about uh, six inhabitants per square kilometers, and we don't have so much people in our area. So it uh, seems to that we have to sell our fish outside of the area. We can't use all our fish in this area. Uh, but uh, before we can try new markets and uh, new products, we start up with uh, basic research of handling facilities. And uh, this morning you discussed a uh, lot of harbors and um, how to handle this question. Uh, we got some some same kind of problems because uh, in Finland there was a. 1980s, there was a domestic project uh, where, when a uh, lot of fish harbors was built, and then the buildings are now 20 or 25 years old. So there is a lot of uh, uh, renewing and uh, rebuilding the harbors. And here you can see one example where there is a fish handling building and uh, also harbor for non-professional fishermen and uh, lesser activities and, and fishermen. So they are in the same harbor and acting together and also some amount of money has also come from another part of the users. Uh, Perhaps our main project has been this Kusamo, which uh, is a totally new fish handling area. Uh, this is a new building costing about 2.8 million euros. And there's a entre one entrepreneur 
which is uh, having uh, about half of the building and half is for fishermen, which has IQF freezer units to uh, having a season time they can freeze their catch and uh, this kind of and uh, this way um, be more powerful in markets when they don't have sell all the catches to the markets uh, at the same time. <coughs> uh, it has started uh, about 2008, this project, and uh, uh, the building is ready at the end of March this year. Uh, FLAG hasn't financed this building itself, but it has financed the planning project and now when the building is ready, we are financing some projects uh, to start up the whole, whole business and uh, marketing this uh, freezing fish and so on. Uh, in Suomussalmi, which lies uh, in the middle of our area, there is uh, one fish handling building. Um, this is cooperated by municipality mostly. And same thing in Kiloniemi Harbor, where it's, uh, this photograph the slide before was. And there's a little renewing process in this uh, building. Uh, because of our, our area is so vast, uh, we have some problems with logistics and that's why we made a basic examination about log logistics and uh, we have some r results uh, uh, when few new cooperations between entrepreneurs and new logistic lines and afterwards we have tried to uh, have a deeper look for the logistics and uh, now we are uh, having a new project with uh, two other flags in northern Finland so we can uh, handle the whole logistical process in northern Finland. It's going to start uh, this spring and uh, hopefully it's, uh, this logistic project is uh, ready uh, early in September or October. Uh, we have a little bit more uh, small size fish as usually in at least in seashore, so we have done a lot of effort for processing this little fish, mostly called vendas. And uh, this small fish cutting and cleaning uh, technology is one of these projects and we have helped one innovator to create more uh, effective ways to handle it. Uh, it was much more um, harder process than uh, the innovator was expecting. So we have run it about one year now and uh, I hope that next summer we're going to have uh, ready machines for cutting and cleaning. The traditional way is to do is by hand and it's too expensive and too slow nowadays and there's no workers who like to do this. Uh, one project is uh, developing fish processing <coughs> companies. We have involved uh, five companies with uh, having, having a common pro project and um, there's uh, targets that are trying to search new markets, new products and uh, of course uh, having a better quality to their products and more profitable production. 
Uh, we have done um, uh, in Helsinki area stock markets uh, marketing with the entrepreneurs and uh, of course uh, every uh, company has their own process uh, to develop their own products so but in marketing we are um, having a more cooperating process and, and trying to have, uh, have some common links be between stock markets and our area. Last Monday we started a new education course for new fishermen because we have a lack of fishermen or the fishermen are quite older elderly people about 60s or even 70s so uh, we don't have not so much young fishermen and we try to get some new new fishermen by this way uh, it was quite popular because there was uh, more coming students than we can take to the course and that is a good example of how we have acted in our flag. Uh, this education project is, uh, we don't put any money for this. Uh, it has financed the Employment and Economic Development Office of Kaino. So we have all just given the idea and uh, uh, having some meetings between different people and, and uh, helping recruit, recruiting students and so on, but uh, we didn't have uh, any straight uh, money or funding for that project. So hopefully after a year we have eight more fishermen in, in Kainu region. Uh, up north, Koilisma district, we have uh, this kind of target uh, that we're gonna have a small fish cluster in Kolisma, which uh, building project has been a main project at this time, but also this PDO label, uh, which is very popular in France and uh, España and uh, Italy. Uh, uh, we have passed it in domestic process, but it's going to evaluate now in Brussels and Euro European level. Uh, we are hoping and uh, all so having a synergy between fishermen and fish product manufacturers because there are not so many companies which are uh, making fish products it was quite easy to have a common idea and this kind of uh, synergy between them. Uh, of course, uh, we have had a lot of uh, entrepreneurial projects by their own. It's m more than one million euros by now. Uh, mostly uh, we have given her help or mm, some very small projects all also funded by FLAG, but uh, uh, most, mostly they are funded by EFF or innovation centers or mm, all kind of other possibilities where we can get, get money. So uh, there's, uh, we haven't, uh, we have started this kind of project with, which we haven't uh, funded by flags, but uh, otherwise. Uh, in aquaculture, we have tried to select new areas and uh, trying to giving uh, assistance for uh, process uh, environmental licenses. Uh, 
because uh, the uh, environmental licenses are very hard to get in Finland. Uh, there is a lot of bureaucrats who, which we have been talked about this problem and uh, trying to involve the decisions in, in the, the part and other problems as well. So here you can see in the middle it's the environmental ministry of, of Paula Koivun which is still in end of March this year as a minister. But anyway, this kind of project we have had in our area and nowadays it's this time of winter it's hard to get fish under the ice, but uh, here you can see Lithuanian group in the right side trying to get some white birds under the ice and if you like to test the same same you are just welcome to the, our area. Thank you. It's